Well, hello, YouTubers. How you guys doing? Today, I'm up here at Cars and Trucks Direct of Bernie, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the car featured in today's review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, as a celebration for my 400 subscribers for my YouTube channel, this is for you guys. Here I bring you a 2010 Ford Mustang GT. This is going to be complete an in-depth review of the GT. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over many of the performance specs and show you all the features that this car has to offer. So we're going to get started by walking around the exterior. Very nice bright red clear coat exterior. It's got, it's got black racing stripes up going all the way under the back of the car. GTs do come with these little, little headlights built into the front grille. One thing I've always liked about those. It's got 18 inch wheels riding on Michelin Pilot F Sport AS3 tires. Dual exhaust. I believe this might have had an upgraded exhaust over time. Nice little side skirt. Anyway, I pretty much showed it all around the exterior of this car. Now we'll go ahead and go on the interior. Inside, this does have a tan leather interior. You have all your power options over here, your power windows, power door locks, and power mirrors. So let's go ahead and jump inside here. Overall, this is a very nice car. Now we'll go ahead and start the engine here. Car has Let's see if I can get the mileage on the screen. It eight only eighty four thousand miles in its odometer. Pretty decent amount of miles on this car. This is a manual, so you do have to hold down the clutch. Make sure you're in neutral, and the parking brake is set. So now let's go ahead and start this thing. noise. It's got a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice and tight power assisted steering. It does have grip bolsters at 10 and 2. It's got a 5 speed manual transmission. All the way over and down for reverse. Alright, now let's go ahead and turn on the lights. It does have automatic lights fog lights and hazards. Both the windows are fully automatic. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. This has an insane sound. Alright, now I'm going to go back in, shut off all the lights, and now I'm going to pop the hood and show the engine. The 
business end of this Mustang. We find it here, it's 4.6 liter modular V8. Three valves per cylinder, single overhead cam. 2010 was the only year you can get this motor since this was its final production. It produces 315 horsepower and 325 foot pounds of torque. Zero to 60 and quarter mile times will be listed in the video description, so if y'all are interested in that, please check that out. Anyway, this car runs fantastic. It's got its stock air box right over here. I personally have always loved the 4.6 versus the newer 5.0. Although it is a good motor, it's just this one is much more popular in the Mustang. So anyway, as for fuel economy, EPA fuel economy estimates for this range between 17 miles per gallon city and 22 miles per gallon highway, unrecommended premium unleaded gas. So, go ahead and shut the hood here. All right, now let's go and go back in. All right, now let's go ahead and see how it sounds. Insanity. It's an awesome exhaust note. Parking brakes are located right over here. It's already been set to release. Just push it down. Pull that back up. The indicator light shows right up there. All right, now let's go ahead and shut the door. Roll up the window and check out some of the interior features. Right here is its original Rager ra radio. Excuse me does have the shaker audio sound system. You have 10 presets right up here. You show your clock right, or clock settings right there. Phone, sound, menu, track seek, volume and tune down here, text, cat fold, scan, direct tune. Your six disc CD player is right here. AM FM controller, Sirius satellite radio, auxiliary and CD, play and pause, power off down here's your climate control your fan speeds right there temperature and all your different zones controlled right here AC control recycler max AC front defrost rear defrost and turn off your AC right there it does have heated seats for the driver and passenger cup holders inside center console Storage inside here, you have a USB port, an auxiliary line in, 12 volt power point as well. Right here is your traction control button, your trunk release is right here. Glove box, you have two storage compartments on the side of the door. Visors with mirrors built in. Oops. Reading lights up above. Your radio controls and media controls and phone controls are on the right of the steering wheel. The left is your cruise control. Wiper controls are, are on the, the turn signal stock. Up here you got a Bully, Bully Dog GT tuner. I don't think it's, it's active right now. But anyway, it does come with the car. It does have a tilt and telescopic steering column. Does have a power sliding driver's seat with manual recline and power lumbar support. I'm gonna fold this back and show you the back seat. It's pretty basic. I'm gonna fold this seat back up. Now I'm gonna show you guys inside the trunk. Very good amount of trunk space. Right here's a safety mechanism for if you lock something in the truck or even yourself, you can pull that and it releases the trunk. Overall, this car is awesome. 
I'll go ahead and shut it down here. Well guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 2010 Ford Mustang GT. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.